Hi, look at this situation. We've got two equations which we're asked to solve. Each equation has two unknown values in it, x and y, and we're going to have to find both of them. Now, we can't solve the equations separately. There is no solution. There are lots of values of x or y which, for instance, solve this equation. But there's only one value of x and one value of y which solves both of them simultaneously at the same time. So we call these simultaneous equations. Sometimes they're called systems of equations. They have to be solved together and not separately. Well, this is a fairly straightforward one. And the technique we use for this one is we notice that the y is present here with a minus in front of it. And in the second equation, it's present with a plus sign in front of it. Now, if we add the two equations, all three parts of them, then they're still going to be equal. Let's see what happens. Ah, yes. Well, because there's a minus y and a plus y, the y's disappear. They're eliminated. So now we have this equation, 10x equals 60, which, because it's only got an x in it, is very easy to solve. We just have to divide it through by 10, and we get the answer, x equals 6. Now, if we know one of these values, in this case x, it's very easy to work out what the y value is, the other value. Because we look at equation 1 again, 3x minus y equals 14. But this time, instead of the x, we put 6, because that's what we found out it is. 3 sixes minus y is 14. 18 minus y is 14. Minus y is minus 4, so y is 4. And here's our solution. x is 6 and y is 4. Sometimes it's written as if the coordinates x, comma, y is 6, comma, 4. Here is another pair of simultaneous equations. Uh, let's have a look at this situation. Well, in this case, we've got a minus x and a plus x. So this time, when we add the two equations, it's going to be the x's that vanish. Those minus x and plus x add together to give you 0. So now when we divide through by 8, instead of finding the value of x, we find the value of y. And we then go ahead to use this value of y, which is negative 4 minus 4, uh, to work out what the value of x is. We just put minus 4 where the y was. So minus x minus 20 is minus 22. Add 20 to both sides. Minus x is minus 2, so x is plus 2. And here's our solution to that one. Once again, all we had to do was to add the two equations, because in this case, it made the x's disappear, or be eliminated. And this technique is called elimination, because that's what we do. We eliminate one or other of the two variables, so, so we can solve the one we haven't eliminated, uh, and continue that way. Here's a third example, which is slightly different from the other two. Let's see, first of all, what happens when we add the two together. Ah, well, the y's disappear. Why? Because they've both got a 7 in front of them, and the signs are different. Plus 7 and minus 7. And when you add plus 7 to minus 7, you get 0. So plus 7 minus 7 gives you 0. So the y's can be eliminated to give us a value of x when we divide both sides by 3. And then we can go on to... Uh, solve what the y value is using that value of x. Notice I've used equation 1 for doing that here. I could easily have used equation 2. Working is slightly different, but the value that we get as an answer is still the same. So it doesn't matter whether I use equation 1 or equation 2 for this second lot of working. You get the same answer either way. But here's our solution. And in this case, we eliminated by adding, as before, but it was a, there was a number in front of each of the y's, but the number was the same, except that the signs were different. So adding them eliminated them and enabled us to continue uh, in that way. Here's a fourth example. Uh, let's see what happens uh, when we add these two equations together. Well, in this case, it's the x's that are eliminated. They disappear because 2 and add minus 2 gives you 0. So now we have this equation, 
which we solve now. Notice there's a negative in front of the 13. It's negative 13 minus 13. But there's no problem with that because what we do is divide by minus 13 and that gives us our answer. 39 divided by minus 13 is minus 3. We use that value over here on the right to get our x value which is also minus 3. It is possible that they're both the same value as in this case. And once again it doesn't matter if we use equation 1 or equation 2. We're going to get the same answer either way. Now, uh, this, pr this video uses an applet from waldemass.com uh, and you can just carry on getting new problems at random by clicking the new problem button. Uh, and each time for this level, this is level 2, each time if you add the two equations together then one or other of the variables is eliminated. In this case the, the x is vanished because there's a minus 4 and a plus 4. Uh, let's have a look at some other examples. Here the y's vanish because there's a plus 5 and a minus 5. So we're left with the x's to solve. And so this is the first stage for every time we're solving these is just to add the two equations and to eliminate one of the variables. Unfortunately life isn't just as simple as that. Sometimes you have to do other things before you can add them to get rid of one or other of the variables, before you can eliminate it. And we'll look at that in a further video in the next video.